How does ADHD affect our memories? Hi, my name is Catherine, and I'm a therapist with Mindful Healing. When it comes to ADHD, a lot of people are aware of the fact that it can impair their memory, or at the very least, they identify as forgetful or airheaded sometimes and feel like they struggle to keep track of specific tasks. This can go really aggressively against other parts of their personality. For example, someone with ADHD may constantly forget to bring home their agenda book and their homework, but they may constantly remember the exact sequence they need to do for this specific video game because that's what they love and are interested in. When it comes to ADHD, people who struggle with this have a very limited working memory. Our working memory is what allows us to hold on to different pieces of information that we actively still need. This could be things like putting your phone down and then your working memory is responsible for keeping track of where you left it so that when you need it again, you can go and find it. However, if you have a very limited working memory like people with ADHD do and absolutely no filter like AD people with ADHD don't, then you end up with too many things clogging up your working memory and our brain has to manually go through and pick what's important. The problem is that our manual choices are very different from our default choices. Our manual choices are going to be based on our preferences rather than the actual importance of things. So that's why our teenagers might remember that three days ago they needed to ask you something very specific about when they could go out, but they can't for the life of them remember to bring home their textbooks. So how do we work around this? Well, the nice thing about working memory is that we can clear it up as easily as we can clutter it. And when it comes to working memory, all it is is a holding list. So one of the best ways we can kind of replace working memory is by using lists. Sometimes it can be helpful to use it on your phone. Sometimes a small notebook is useful. I've even had clients write things on their arms. But when it comes to things we know we need to remember, if we have ADHD, relying on our working memory is probably not going to work. So instead, we take that thought, that obligation, that requirement, and we externalize it. We put it out in the world somewhere so we're no longer relying on our working memory in order to have that available for us. If you have more questions about how to manage ADHD and its symptoms, please reach out to Mindful Healing. Thanks.